Hey guys, Justin here from Feldman Physical Therapy and Performance, and we wanted to put together some at-home workouts, strength, mobility drills that you guys can do while the climbing gym is closed and help keep yourselves going healthy and strong so that when the gym opens back up, that everybody is able to get back in there and do what they love to do. One of the most amazing things about climbing is the community that surrounds it and just how amazing everybody is and how supportive everybody is of each other. And during tough times like that, that becomes even more important. And so we are just really thankful to be able to offer some sort of support and help uh, by putting together some of these videos for you. So enjoy. Any questions, ask, reach out, don't be shy. Uh, we're here to help everybody out and help everyone through this. So the first thing we're gonna do is my personal favorite drill. This is a 90-90 hip drill. And so what you're gonna do is get into 90-90 position here, and you're gonna hold there like that. You're looking for 90 degrees at your front leg, 90 degrees through your knee, 90 degrees here and 90 degrees there. And you're gonna sit up nice and tall. You're gonna get both sides of your butt on the ground and you're gonna try and hold this position for two minutes. Personally, this is my sort of end of the day. Um, kids are sleeping and I get to do this while I watch TV and relax for a little bit. And so what I do is you're gonna sit here for two minutes. You wanna try and stay super, super tall. Uh, if you were a perfect jumped out of an anatomy book, then I would wanna see both sides of your butt on the ground both knees on the ground, your nose sort of right in the middle of your shin. And what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna have you take your front leg, right? You're gonna engage it into the ground, just sort of actively push into the ground. Five, 10 seconds, you're gonna relax, and then just pull forward a little deeper into the stretch, all right? When it comes to climbing, being strong at the end of a range and being able to produce force at the end of your range, whether your limb is sort of in the shortest position, right, or stretched all the way out is key. Um, and one of the things when you're not able to do it for a while is that strength at the end of the ranges of motion is sort of the first thing to go. And so what we want to do during this time is really focus on those end range strengths. And so you're going to hang out in this position for another two minutes. So you're basically two minutes here, you go back in and you're gonna be two minutes after you pull forward. And then what we're gonna do is, we get to the end of our two minute drill and you're gonna take your back leg, okay? And you're gonna try and lift your foot up in the air, just a little bit, right? You can probably barely see it on the camera uh, without moving your body around, all right? And this should give you a really, really nice cramp over here, right? And basically when you get a cramp in a muscle, that means that you, made the muscle work, made it fire in a position where it's not efficient. And by using things where they're not efficient, that's how they get stronger. So you're gonna do 10 lifts on that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna switch sides and you're probably gonna be really excited to switch sides as you get out of that. And you're gonna come right into here and we're gonna do exactly the same thing on this side. You're gonna be two minutes, okay? Same deal here, right? 90 degrees, 90 degrees. And then when you're gonna just stay nice and tall, you'll find as you do this on both sides, that one side is your preferred side. Usually whichever side you instinctively start off with is the one that you prefer to work on. And nothing wrong with that. Everyone's got a favorite. Um, it's fine. You're just not supposed to have a favorite kid. Uh, and so you're gonna go this way, right? Then drive that leg straight down into the ground, push, 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 relax. And then you're gonna pull forward and hold. Same deal right here. You're just gonna hold it. And we're gonna stay nice and strong here. And you wanna stay comfortable. Same deal, both sides of your butt should be on the ground. Both knees should feel equally weighted, right? And we get to the end, we're gonna lift that back leg up and you're just gonna try and do it without moving your body. And you can sort of see, I was able to lift my other one up. This one doesn't wanna go anywhere and I get that cramp pretty quick on that side. And that's it. And your goal is over time working on that, that we get less cramps there. Now, next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna come sit in here and we're gonna work on bringing your leg all the way down 
and knee towards the ground and come back up. We just want to actively go there. And ideally, you shouldn't need to brace yourself on the ground, right? And you're going to find if you put your hands on the ground, you can get much further, okay? What I want to get you to do is there and there. And you want to be able to do that without much movement of your body and really just be able to control that motion as it comes through your hips. And you're looking for about five to 10 of those on each side. Now, next thing we're going to get you to do is we're going to do what I call a super clamshell. And this is sort of an interesting cross between a side plank and a clamshell exercise. If you ever see anybody do a clamshell exercise or if you've ever tried one, they generally sort of feel like a waste of time. Um, these will definitely not feel like a waste of time. And that's why I like them so much. So what you're going to do is you're going to come down into a side plank position here. But instead of having your knees straight in line with your body, you're gonna bend them just a little bit, okay? And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna come up into a plank and lift your top leg and come back down. And I want you to do about 15 of those, okay? And what we're looking for is that everything goes straight up and you don't get a lot of fall back and forth. And you hold, you're just looking for a good, about well, three, five second hold up at the top and back down, all right? And this is a really, really good way to get some firing, some engagement and some strengthening out of your glutes. Also while getting some good core work in. And so it's, you get both there with one thing. And you're gonna spin over and we'll obviously do the exact same thing on the other side. And you can play around with these as far as how many sets and reps that you do. But in general, we're looking for it to feel Nice, easy, and stable. You get to that top, just make sure you're not falling from side to side and just work on that balance there. And so those that's a great, great way to get some, some hip strength. And then what we're gonna do to finish off is we're gonna work some more of that end range strength. So we're gonna sit up super tall. We're gonna come forward. You're gonna feel a stretch in your hamstrings, but that's not our goal at all here. We're gonna come forward. And what I want you to do next is you're gonna take one hip and you're just gonna lift it up and we're looking for you to be able to get your heel to the height of your big toe on the other foot without moving your body. We're gonna go five and back down. There we go. And you'll find as you get tired, it's harder to lift it or you make this attempt to lean back. And similarly, we talk about that end range strength, but we wanna be able to engage one muscle group without the stability of another one sort of being compromised. And so you'll find that this feels super easy if you just go like this, right? But we wanna isolate that out so that we're nice and stable through here and still able to engage and tap into all the strength that we have in our hips. So. That's the first one of our exercise series here. We'll come back with another one. We'll do some shoulder work. We're just gonna keep bringing you all these different exercises that you can do at home so you're able and ready to get back into the gym as soon as we're allowed. See everyone soon.